them all, and boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab it? He did! Oh, what a grab by Brett Gardner to rob C.J. Crone of a long ball. Wow. You betcha, Tyler Clifford. Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. That goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. Now from City Field in Flushing, New York, we welcome you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets Baseball, coming up next. Robert Gesellman will be on the mound for the series opener. HR, what's the word on him? Matt has lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. In now is John Jay. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Ready on one and two. Chop weakly to the left. Throw by right is in time for out number one. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Matty, the guy I'm here to see is Big Chris Bryant. He's really had a heck of a year in the power categories, slugging over 500 coming into this one. That means almost every time he's hitting the ball, he's hitting it hard somewhere. Should be fun to watch. Here's Jason Hayward now. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. This one's flared out toward left. Here comes Cespedes. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting third, third baseman, Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. The pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order, and now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. John Lackey, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. And when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. Now to the plate, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Well, Harold, as we take a look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5-3 and three in their last eight games. Well, this is game one of the road trip, and they're coming off a 500 homestand. I, I haven't been thoroughly blown away by them, but they're playing okay ball. But this is a big game for them, their first one on the road. Caesar has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Now with the plate, David Wright. 
first at bat for him in this one and he's got that average up over the 300 mark for the year into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt but he'll hold back here it's one and two now here's the pitch swing and a looper to left Caesar moving in lays out and he's got it a great play for route number two taking another look at it the ball has some top spin on it but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch nice defensive play right there stepping into the box Joanna Cespedes and as you take a look at the splits here he's actually better against right handed pitching this season two balls and a strike here it is belt high and right down the middle for a strike that's a fastball right down the middle now you might be able to get away with it in the first inning guys are still filling him out but if he's going to have success in this game Matt he's going to have to be on the corners with that fastball two out nobody on swing and a miss he struck him out with a two seamer and the inning is over Mets go down one two three we are still scoreless into the box Anthony Rizzo he comes in currently second on the team in home runs here it comes on one and one Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step. Stepping in, Addison Russell. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting six. The catcher, number 40. Digging in, Wilson, Wilson Contreras. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. In there, one and two now. He looks really strong here early in this game, and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it. That's a ball. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the two-two pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Right there is Reyes. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In now, Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. The 2 1 now to Granderson. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to 2 and 2 now. All even at two and two. Here it is. This is pulled into right, and that'll go as the Mets' first hit of the ball game. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well, they did a nice job of trying to change his eye level. The fastball up, off-speed pitch down. Problem was, it just didn't work. Here's Neil Walker. His matchup numbers with John Lackey. Four for 14. Ready is Lackey. The pitch. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. Runner at first is Granderson here with nobody out. And Granderson runs. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. 
open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pitch inside. The oh, short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. A lot of times, if a guy is going, it's going to be on the first couple of pitches, but he waited it out that time. Didn't matter, though. A good catch and throw, and they nabbed him at second. And the pitch. And that misses for ball four. Here's Jay Bruce now. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he lays off for a ball. 2 and 1. 2 and 1 to count. Fastball is looked at for strike two. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Runners off for second. Heading out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Lucas Duda now. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard to short. Played on the backhand. And from deep in the hole, he got him. What a play, and that ends the inning. Off of one leg, in the hole, falling away. That is pure magic. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Standing in, Matt Caesar. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Two Outside, and two and one. Well, he clearly read the scout report. This guy's been sizzling hot, and look at how careful he's been pitching him. Lifted in the air to center field. Branderson is under it. One away. Batting eight. The pitcher Into 21. the box now, John Lackey, John Lackey, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here it comes on one and one. Right Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting ninth. Digging in the switch hitter, Jamal Weeks. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. On the ground to third, gloved by right. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Stepping up now, Rene Rivera. He's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Digging in, Robert Gesellman. He'll get to take his first cuts here. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another one, too. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jay has a read on it, and that's the second out of the inning. That's shortstop. Number seven. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Oh, right down Main Street with that one, two and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better, and you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Ready for another chance? John Jay back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to look. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Jason Hayward. Standing in now, Jason Hayward. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. And he struck him out. So with a runner at first and one gone, time to bring in our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. Digging in to try it again. Chris Bryant comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. Well, he's really been on some kind of hot streak. We've watched him now climb into two eighties as he starts to head through the, the two eighty highway. He's on fire with another base hit. Stepping in now, Anthony Rizzo squared that one up just a little late. The one two pitch. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Hit to short. And oh, it ties up Reyes. And he is in there. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Trying to keep the score where it is and the pitch. And he'll try to entice him with the changeup here, but it dips below the knees. It's 2 and 2. Wow, really close pitch on 0 and 2. That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. He's set, and the 2 2 pitch. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Branderson is under it. And that ends the inning. Fair to say. Oh my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The pitch. Slider is in there, and now it's 1 and 2. Now the pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. 
Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. He's got it one away. The left fielder number 52. So with one away now, Yohannes a chance for the left fielder to bat with the bases empty. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Oh, and he shoots this back into center field for a base hit. Well, that's not rocket science. You fall behind 3 1 to this guy, you're probably going to give up a base hit when you throw him a fastball. Number three, Ernest Landerson. In now, Curtis Granderson. <laughs> Tough slider over the inside corner for a strike. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Lifted the other way to left center. Jay on the run. He's got it, and there are two down now. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now about it. Stepping in and ready for Neil another shot, Walker. Neil Walker. He drew a walk his first time up. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Jay. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Mets leave one. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. At the plate, Matt Caesar comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Granderson ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look 41. out. Seven games. That's John one Michael. week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Now batting, John Lackey. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he pops up the bunt attempt. And Wright will put this one away for the first down. Up next for the cut. Second now at the plate, Jamal Wheat. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Hit on the ground toward the left. Throw on to first, two gone. In now is John Jay. A hit in two tries so far. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. That misses one and two. One, two. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. It's the Cubs one and the Mets nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Line toward the alley in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. And he's safe. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he oh, muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that would drive you nuts as a pitcher.
Coming to the plate now, Lucas Duda, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. This is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game. They're just having a difficult time getting it going. Ready with the three one. Line towards center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Bruce. Rounds third and is digging for the plate. The tying run is in to score from second. It's one to one. Well, that ball's hit hard right there, and it should be no surprise. That's what happens. You find a ball behind 3 1 in a count. You know you got to throw a fastball. You're probably going to get hit hard. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. Three and one now. And I think he wanted to know where that one was. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. And a full count now, three and two. Now here's Lackey's 3-2 to short. Backhanded. No problem here, one away. Digging in for his second at bat, Robert Gesellman. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Runner at second here with one man out. And this will be fouled away. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball to end up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And a neck high fastball that time. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. And that one stayed up a little high. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Well, he's pitching well. They sent him back up to the plate, and what does he do? He rewards him with the base hit. This is a great game for him so far. Into the box, Jose Reyes. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute and hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. So two balls and two strikes now. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And they will tag him out at the plate. And that'll keep our ball game tied up as the inning is over. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. We're through five here at the ballpark, all tied at one and one. Here's Jason Hayward now. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ground ball right side, taken by Walker. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. How about it? Third baseman. Digging in and looking for more, Chris Bryant. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Quick. 
cue shot here out towards short. Throw gets him two down. First base the number 44. Anthony Anthony Rizzo. Rizzo stands in now. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously it's working so far. And the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Well, he doesn't have any walks yet. He's gonna have to come in the zone right here and really avoid throwing that first walk of the game. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. There to take this one is Duda, and that'll end the inning. Cubs are down in order. The score remains deadlocked at one. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Lackey ready with the one two pitch fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it one gone well pitching domination continues just a total of two runs on the board the so both of these 52. starters should feel Yo, really good about their showings if you love good pitching this has been the game for you ready to deal here's the one one and a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball he's been doing a nice job out there on the mound but the deeper you get into the game the more the hitters have seen you this is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with this one's down to third and a base hit into left field so they've got themselves a one out base runner so it's a ground ball single to left for him here his second hit tonight and as we check out the rankings on this Mets ball club you can see there he's currently leading the team in that department ready once again Curtis Granderson he's one for two in the ball game. some action out in the bullpen couple of right handers starting to loosen up yeah and here's a slider for a called strike and he's behind one and two now you know when a guy starts to get tired you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out but that's not the case yeah. here still has really nice finish on that slider as we saw it bounces but he's out nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly clearly they were hoping to be aggressive and doing some running tonight but I think they're going to need to adapt now it's not working and you just can't keep running into outs even at two balls and two strikes here's the pitch and oh dear that caught him full bore on the mound as it ricochets back toward the plate recovery throw is not in time and that will go down as a painful single well there's an infield single with two outs you know never too late to get a rally started I love the hustle right there to get things going ready for another chance Neil Walker comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game ready is lackey the pitch right over the middle knee high runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game hit in the air to shallow center Jay is going to get there and that retires the side Met strand one score remains tied one to one. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing all square at one as we get set to start the seventh. But before we do let's take a look at the game summary to this point. Here's Addison Russell and guys seventh inning already. Hey I'm not complaining but this one's been flying by. Yeah I'll agree with that Matt that's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that. Yeah and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings and there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. Catcher. Wilson. 
Digging in to try it again, Wilson Contreras. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High in the air out towards shallow right. Bruce has a read on it. Two down. Now batting. Left fielder. Striding Matt in once again. Caesar. Matt Caesar. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Walker ranging to his right. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Three up, three it's down for the Cubs. For the Still tied, one strike. apiece. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Jay Bruce, he doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Here's the pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Stepping in now, Lucas Duda. Outside, two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Three and two now. He's thrown a lot of pitches already, and man, this is a long AB. This at bat, when you look back at it, might be the one that takes him out of the game. Here's a high pop up. And there's out number two. Now batting. Patrick. Renee Stepping Rivera. in and ready for another shot. Rene Rivera, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fastball is in there. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two thirds. I'll tell you what, six and two thirds, he got 100 pitches. He's done a nice. Oh, that ball comes in and gets him. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Conforto will come out and pinch hit here in a big spot. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Ready is Lackey. The pitch dribbled to the right side. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Mets leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Juan Ligares will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Ben and it appears Zobrist. as though we'll see a pinch hitter now as the switch hitter Ben Zobrist has grabbed a bat and moved into the on deck circle.
And now here comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Jerry Blevins will come on to pitch Travis now as he'll move into Darno. the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Travis Darno is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Grounded back up the middle, fielded cleanly by Walker. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Two very well pitched games thus far. There you see it. Each team with a one and a whole lot of zeros. One one our score at this point in the ball game. Things have been tight throughout. Javier Baez will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Line towards center field. In now is John Jay. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set to deliver on two and one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? Here's Walker for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Up next for the Cup, right fielder, Jason Hayward. At the plate, Jason Hayward. His prior history versus this arm. A number of meetings. He's one for seven. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. High in the air into shallow left center. Cespedes is there. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. One left for the Cubs. Score remains tied one to one. Your Javier Baez plate. will stay in the ball this game now as he comes on to play second here. Now playing second base, number nine, Javier Baez. Koji Uwahara is on to pitch out of the number bullpen 19, in the bottom half of the Koji eighth. Uwahara. Ready for another shot now, Jose Reyes. We'll open the inning here for the Mets with David Wright following on deck. Here's the one and one delivery. A no, fastball that just misses inside. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And he squares up on this one. Deep to straightaway right. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Ah, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Here's the third baseman David Wright no hits in three tries so far he struck out once Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right hander has begun to get loose takes a look down at the knees for a strike the one and two pitch slap hard the opposite way and Wright's going to have himself a base hit. They've left a lot of men on base. They've had plenty of opportunities. And here's another one. After a base oh, hit, they find 52. themselves with another runner on. Let's see if they can bring somebody home this inning. In now, Joanna Cespedes. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Go 
Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Standing in now, Curtis Granderson. And he looks at one in there, one and two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. And there goes right. Strike three and the potential go ahead run left on base. Met strand one. Still tied one apiece. Digging in once again, Chris Bryant. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first down. How about him? The first baseman. Anthony Rizzo. at the plate Anthony Rizzo lifetime in this matchup 0 for 4 and it looks now like a right hander has begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen right. called strike over the outside corner set to deal on a ball and two strikes lined hard towards short and the throw gets him at first on his final play in the hole as you're ever likely to now see running. two away Let's now. Go. Addison Russell. Here's Addison Russell, 0 for 3 with an RBI in this one. One and two, here it comes. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Another 1 2 delivery. Rounded weakly to the left. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Coming to the plate now, Wilson Contreras. There are two gone and the possible go ahead run at first. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. to third. Wright's got it. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Cup strand one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Now at the plate, Neil Walker for his career in this matchup. He's one for two. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. gets up for the 3 2 hit out towards second a quick out number one up next for the Mets right fielder stepping Jay. into the box Ooh. Jay Bruce he's got a hit in three at bats to this point one out nobody on An easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Full count, here it comes. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. Well, they got a little season started now. One out, a little one-out rally. Got a chance to win the game. You got the winning runner on base now.
There's Joe Madden up out of the dugout now on his way to home plate, so it looks as though he's going to call for the double switch here. Carl Edwards Jr. is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Miguel Montero is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. Number 47, Miguel Montero. So a big moment in the ball game here. Lucas Duda as he'll look to get the ball into the outfield and bring home what would be the winning run from second base. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Two. Looks at a changeup on the inside corner for a strike. Now the one and two pitch. And the fastball easy to lay off that time. Two and two. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Now a pickoff play at second, and the runner back easily. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Oh, and this is lined into center field. It's down for a base hit. Bruce rounds third and is striding for home. And the Mets are going to walk home a winner. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. As we wrap this one up tonight, it's time to show our appreciation for the man you see there. Jay Bruce can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, he doubled down on doubles here. Two of them on the stat sheet, and they were a factor in the outcome of this ball game. one tonight two to one the final score Jerry Blevins gets the win in relief his second of the year so that'll just about do it for Harold Reynolds Dan Pleasak and our entire crew I'm Matt Baskersian this has been a presentation of MLB the show for more don't forget to check out the shownation.com the final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets two runs Ten hits, no errors. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. The long pause. Now the